Greetings members of the 2022 International Conference from the Great White North. It is my privilege both as a Starfleet officer and lifelong Trekkie to talk to you today about the pivotal roles played by Canadian actors throughout the 56 year history of Gene Roddenberry's universe. In fact, the Maple Leaf is represented in every version of Star Trek to date and I believe you'll be surprised at who we found. We'll start with the newest and most anticipated show, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, or SNW. Shot in Toronto and other locations throughout Canada, the first episode of SNW boasts four Canadians alone, including several with ties to my home of Calgary, Alberta. American actor Anson Mount, as series lead Captain Christopher Pike, is well known as Cullen Bohannon from the AMC series Hell on Wheels. The entire series was filmed throughout southern Alberta and Pike's unkempt appearance bears a striking resemblance to Bohannon. His companion in the opening scene, Captain Battelle, is played by Ottawa native Melanie Scrofano, best known for the supernatural series Winona Earp, which was also shot in Alberta. It should be noted that another Canadian portrayed Pike first. Ontario actor Bruce Greenwood played him in J.J. Abrams' 2009 Star Trek and the follow-up Star Trek Into Darkness. Much has been said about Admiral Robert April, Pike's former commander in the USS Enterprise, but giving him gravitas is actor Adrian Holmes of Vancouver, who also appeared in Winona Earp, opposite Scrofano. Rounding out the Calgary Centric connection is the biggest casting yet. Calgary native Bruce Horrock is Hemmer, chief engineer and an a &R. Horrock made history by being the first legally blind actor to be cast in a lead role. He cut his teeth acting on the stage all over Canada, including the storied Stratford Shakespeare Theatre. Horrock also enjoys the distinction of being the second Canadian to play the Enterprise Chief Engineer. James Doohan, the beloved Scotty, was from Vancouver. There are two more Canadians in SNW. Toronto-based actor Gia Sandu portrays Spock's betrothed to Pring, famously performed by Arlene Martel in the TOS episode Amic Time. And finally, actor Dan Ginot hails from William Shatner's hometown of Montreal. Ironically, he portrays one of the most talked-about characters, that of Samuel Kirk, Jim Kirk's older brother. As we've seen, Canada is definitely carrying on the tradition led by William Shatner and James Doohan. Star Trek Discovery, which is shot in Toronto, also boasts several Canadian actors in critical roles. Emily Coots has distinguished herself as Discovery helmsman Kayla Detmer, whose piloting skills are definitely on par with the Enterprise's Lieutenant Sulu. She is joined by Patrick Kwok Chun as Commander Jen Reese, communications officer of the Discovery. Patrick has an extensive resume, including appearing in Winona Earp with Melanie Scrofano. The following is a checklist of the remaining Canadians in Discovery, according to Memory Alpha. Sarah Midditch, Lieutenant Commander Arium in Season 1, and Lieutenant Nielsen from Season 2 to 4. Hannah Cheeseman played Arium in the second season and Arium's Mirror Universe counterpart in the third season. Mia Kirshner is Amanda Grayson, parent to Michael Burnham and Spock, an iconic role originated by Jane Wyatt in the original series episode Amic Time. Sarah Booth, another Montreal native, she played Luda in The Examples. Famed horror director David Cronenberg, the Toronto-based auteur, has played the enigmatic Starfleet psychologist Kovic in seven episodes. Alan Van Sprang played Section 31 Captain Leland in Season 2, the man who was eventually possessed by the control entity. Rachel Ancheril, the Toronto-based actor, played former USS Enterprise officer Commander D. Nan. Nan joined a small team commanded by Captain Christopher Pike when he assumed command of Discovery in Season 2. Finally, I will point out that Canadians joined Shatner and Doohan throughout the original series. They include Ontario actor Steve Inet, who chewed plenty of scenery as Captain Garth in Whom Gods Destroy. Ontario actor John Colicos, like Shatner, a classically trained stage performer, portrayed the first Klingon Coeur in the episode Errand of Mercy. In many interviews, Colicos reportedly said that he had no clue what a Klingon was until he received a rundown from the director. Coor was a military governor of a planet of meek people who clashes with Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock. Colicos seized on the warlike description and patterned Coor after Mongol conqueror Genghis Khan. His elocution is legendary, especially when he tells Kirk he can't stand a man who smiles too much. 
Kur proved to be so popular that Colicos repeats the role twice in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. This raises another fascinating Canadian Klingon creation. Oscar-winning actor Christopher Plummer, also a Stratford vet and good friend of both Shatner and Colicos, played the Shakespeare-spouting General Chang in Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. Who could forget Chang quoting, Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war, as he swoops in to attack the Enterprise. I hope that you've enjoyed my talk and will place your friends to the north in the Star Trek universe. The full list of Canadians is available on Memory Alpha. Thank you and live long and prosper.